Yo, welcome back to the channel, Moses Adams, where we talk about, where we giving um, self-growth tips, where we put in self-growth tips, uh, motivation talk. This is where you grow, baby. Like, you're here, I'm here, we're all growing, so I'm here to like, give you some tips to help your mental be in the right place and the right scenery today's video is about respect the progress let me get straight right into it um, a lot of us do not respect the progress I don't know why we think that everything happens within like a minute like a second oh I do this one day and it's supposed to happen tomorrow we have to respect the progress everything takes time you, you take time to grow like you take time to grow. It takes 18 years for you to reach like six feet or maybe five, seven for the people who are not tall. But what I'm trying to say is everything takes time to grow and you have to respect the process. You couldn't push the process of you growing. So why try and push the process of what you're chasing or what you're attracting, not chasing. Chasing is like, oh, um, I'm chasing it and it's running away, so we don't use that word here, but let's go with attracting, with what you're attracting. So you have to respect the progress that what you're doing, with the consistency, and how you keep going about it, it's eventually going to put you in that position to get what you want. So respect the progress, that is the topic today, respect the progress. One of the number one key point in respecting the progress is, I think I'm gonna go with four key points today, but the number one key point is negative talk. Negative talk is a hindrance. Negative talk is a hindrance. Negative talk is a hindrance. hindrance. A lot of you guys talk down on yourself. You look at yourself, oh, I can't do this. That word, I can't do this is the most after word in this world like you can you can do you can do anything in this world all you have to do is put in the work and respect the progress put in the work and remove that negative talk some of you guys are so filled with negative talk like words let me not say talk words that you actually believe in it and it's wrong you should you should not believe in negative words. Like a lot of people come into your life and they'd be like, oh, you can't do this. <laughs> they might just say something like laugh at you, <laughs> put inside laughs, side talks and all those BS. Don't pay attention to that. Like those negative words are the ones hindering. That is the first step to achieving what you want, to attracting what you want is to remove the negative talk. Like you, let's say you have this person in your ear or this, the thing is sometimes it, might, sometimes it might be you guys yourself. Something inside your head is the one that is fucking up, the one that is effing up your mental, your process, your growth. That negative talk that you keep telling yourself, oh, I can't do this. Oh, it's gonna take like four months. I, I, I can't put in four months into this to, to achieve this. That is, that is too much, that is too much work. But you can put in 12 hours a day, six days a week for a job that is going to give you the same revenue, same revenue every week. It's not like growing. It's just giving you the same thing, same thing to pay off debts and bills and all these things. You're not growing there, but you can give all those hours to a job to a person that doesn't like businesses it might be a fun place, but it's, they don't care about you if you really think about it. So remove all that negative talk whatever it is that you want to do go for it chase it not chase it attract it work towards it go to the gym go to the go to the start that business whatever it is put in that time that time go go on a monk mode to achieve it and remove all that negative talk anything that you think that you cannot do be like yes i can do this moses you can do this you've done this before and even if you haven't done it before you're gonna do it and at some point you're gonna be like i've done this before and the harder part that comes you'll be like i can do that one too because i've done something like this so 
whatever your name is, do it. Just remove that negative talk and do it. The next one is project yourself in the final outcome. Project yourself in the final outcome. Some people need to, like, let's say you want a car, you want a house. I'm going to be using a lot of this examples because these are literally what people achieve for let's say you wanna you wanna whatever whatever it can be project yourself in the final outcome like mentally be like i see myself driving that mercedes i see myself driving that jeep wrangler i see myself driving that lamborghini whatever it is project yourself in the final outcome go to the dealership go on a test drive go on a test drive you think they will not give you the listen dress to dress to be how dress how you want to be addressed so wear the suit or wear the t-shirt or whatever go and test that car go and drive it project yourself in the final outcome then sit down while you're projecting yourself in that final outcome think of what exactly can i do to get this thing because if somebody if like 30 people can do this i one person can do this 30 people have already achieved this and but like five of these cars, why can't I? Why can't you? Why can't Moses do the same thing in this lifetime that we're all given equally, but taken away unequally, but given equally? It depends on how you use it, but this life is given equally to everybody. So ask yourself, what can I do to project myself in that position? I'm already projecting myself, but what can I do to attain, attain it? That is projecting yourself, like projecting, like pushing yourself over there. So you're projecting yourself. The next one is acceptance. Some of you guys need to accept it's coming. Yes, it's coming. This has to go in line with fate. Oh, I believe, oh, I just believe that it's coming. I'm doing everything right, so it's coming. It's coming. I'm I'm attracting it working towards it putting in the work so it's coming it's coming all i just need to do is relax and continue doing what i need to be doing for it to come so it's coming do not feel like it's never coming it's coming what you want is coming what you want is coming i hope this meets somebody because you need to realize it's always coming as long as you're doing everything right put in the work it will come to you at some point just have the faith three years is not a long time two years is not a long time one year is not a long time that shit comes and goes think about it last how many years is it we're in 2022 it feels like one year ago was 2019 or 2018 it's been like three or four years now imagine you had put in that work taking your life seriously it would have been here by now so do everything give yourself a time and do everything and realize that it's coming it's coming to you just real just know it's coming you understand it's coming you just have to real relax do the work work for it put in the time and it'll come and when it comes you will want something more just the only thing you need to do is real, relax that it's coming The last one is believe. <sighs> How many times have you not believed in yourself? Always looking for someone to believe in you. Like let's say me, I used to have this problem. Like I, I know I can do something, but I would rather somebody tell me, oh, I can do it. than me telling myself I can do it. That is seeking validation from somebody. Oh yes, you can do it. But have you realized that that person is not doing what you thought of doing? So why do you have to go and go looking for validation from somebody when you can when you can believe in yourself go and try it maybe try an error like just try an error you never know but you have to believe in yourself first believe in yourself first before you believe in someone else don't seek validation from people people have their own shit going they don't have time for you. Matter of fact, take this like an take take life like this. Nobody gives a fuck about you. 
nobody cares about you so you care about yourself you care about your skin color you care about your body you have to take care of yourself you have to go research stuff to be like oh does this good for my skin nobody's caring about you nobody's checking up on you if you're eating maybe your mom but or your dad but nobody gives a fuck about you so you have to give a fuck about yourself then maybe i don't know but first give a fuck about yourself and realize that you have to that that comes in the that comes in line with believing in yourself believe in yourself it's very simple believe in yourself it's very simple but it's it requires effort believe in yourself thank you